Oh, am I, Hedwig? What am I? I'm Harry, Harry Potter. Hey guys, Tessa here. And for today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my Harry Potter bookshelf. But first, we have a sponsor. A big shout out to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. Ever since I've been using my custom Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner, my hair has been so healthy and moisturized, especially with bleached hair, it's a miracle. Look at her. Everyone's hair is different. So what works for my hair might not work for yours. So Function of Beauty has this really cool hair quiz that helps you figure out your hair profile and your hair goals. They're really good at targeting their products to what your hair really needs. For example, my five hair goals were to hydrate deep condition, replenish, soothe my scalp, and volumize. And look at these results. And I love Function of Beauty because they have clean ingredients. And it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. My hair doesn't feel as dry and brittle as it was before. I'm honestly surprised that it's been working so well because bleached hair is so tough to work with. I also got to customize the fragrance, colors, and name of my products, which is like an added bonus. It says Function of Tessa. So if you click the link in my description box below, you can get 20% off your first set. Click that link. So cute. My hair actually looks so good though. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, hello, make sure you are subscribed and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you. Okay, I'm grabbing the camera and taking you with me. Let's do this. Okay, so shelf number one in my Harry Potter bookshelf tour is based off of Sorcerer's Stone. Sorcerer's Stone, Philosopher's Stone. You get it. Guys, I am so happy with the way that this shelf came out. I think it looks amazing. And you guessed it, the first seven shelves that I'm going to be showing you are based off of the seven Harry Potter books. In the middle, we have a beautiful Harry Potter book. The hard covers because those are my favorite. On top of this book, we have one of Harry's horses. This is not an authentic prop replica. This is a horse that I got off of Amazon. Harry was the original horse girl. You heard it here first. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so right here, we have a replica of Harry's first wand. The wand that Harry uses in the first movie. Now, they changed the style of the wands. I think in Prisoner of Azkaban. This wand was made by Brown and Lobin. He is an amazing, incredible wand maker, and you should definitely check him out on Instagram. But this one just gives me so much nostalgia because that shot of Harry holding his wand in Ollivander's is so iconic and gives me chills. And when they do that thing in the wizarding world where you hold the wand and the music plays and I get so teary eyed, I want to vomit and cry. Okay, moving on right here. We have a lovely little package. What do we have here? It's the sorcerer slash philosopher's stone, baby. I think I got this from one of Cherry's past boxes because Cherry makes the most beautiful and iconic Harry Potter things. Come at me, Nicholas Flamel. We got some galleons, some sickles. Actually, we only have one. We have one galleon, one sickle, and one canut. But I wanted these coins present because it reminded me of when Harry took the lot. I am a rich bitch now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the queen has arrived. Is this the queen? I believe this was also a part of one of Cherry's boxes. And it's just so beautiful. I would be horrible at Wizard's Chess. I already know that Ron would beat me every single time. My poor chess pieces would never win and get beaten up. So I must protect her and keep her safe. But this truly is the best line in the entire movie. Once I make my move, then you're free to check the king. No, well no! Hanging right here, I'm not going to move it, we have one of the flying keys. In the back, which I'm not going to move because then things would fall over. Oh my goodness. We have my favorite thing in the first Harry Potter, 
which is the Hagrid butt cake. When I tell you it's my favorite, I'm telling you the truth. That is not a real cake. Even though it looks like a real cake, it's not. And then right above the cake, we have one of Harry's letters. And this one is actually a purse. It looks just like one of Harry's letters, but it's a purse. Harry, bless him, could not catch a single letter. Why was he trying to catch them when they were every... Okay, you... <sighs> okay, moving on to the other side of the shelf. In the front, we got some balls. It's a remember all. <laughs> I think Cherry did this too. Cherry's just taken over my shelves as she should. I kind of wish I could like split this open and put some like red tissue paper in the middle because I forget things all the time. Here. Uh-oh, I'm gonna mess up the wings. Let's try not to. Golden snitch. You can open it. Hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, wait. How do I open this? Why are, you, why are you not opening at the close? Oh, it's this way. Whoops, no it's not. You can open it. Look at this clock. I love it. Look at this beautiful gold foiling. I have no clue where I got this. Everyone goes on the Hogwarts Express on my birthday, September 1st. Below Hedwig that I don't want to move again is a little trunk thing, a little Hogwarts trunk. And then sitting atop the trunk, we have Hedwig. Who am I, Hedwig? What am I? Okay, time for shelf number two, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. That's right, baby. Up at the top of the little book, you can see my bookmark that looks like there's little feet sticking out. This is the coolest thing ever. It's a replica of Ron's broken wand. It's so Chamber of Secrets. Next up, we have this Phoenix Tears candle. And this was in an Accio box. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It's like cinnamon, grapefruit, but you gotta have those Phoenix tears to cry on Harry. <laughs> the flying car. This is a car I could never drive because I could barely drive on land. Don't even get me started about driving in the air. No, no thanks, but love the car. Here, right there, there. Tom, I was gonna say Tom Voldemort. <laughs> It has a little hole in it because Harry put that basilisk fang in there. In the back, on both sides, you can see two little howlers. There's a little Hogwarts crest sticker in the back, and that's from Enchanted Oddities. Here we got a bottle of Skelligro because Gilderoy couldn't keep his paws off trying to fix Harry. I always love this potion though. And this is actually a water bottle. It's from Oliver's Brighton. Here we have the page that Hermione wrote on that says pipes. Thank God she did this or else the boys would have been clueless. Even petrified, Hermione saved their ass. God bless. Don't fall over, Skelligro. This is from the Flying Mandrake on Instagram. And I love her, she's so cute. Gotta have the mandrake so that we can make the potion so that everyone who's petrified can be okay again. So God bless these little guys. This one looks really happy. And then she is on this little music box. Ah, the best part of Chamber of Secrets, the ending. I sob every time. There's no Hogwarts without you, Hagrid. Shelf number three, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. All right, starting off, we have the beautiful wand that I don't want to touch because I'm afraid it's going to knock over, but it is the wand of Sirius Black. Next, we have this Time Turner, which is also a clock. And this is from PB Teen. We have a little token for the night bus. We also have a ticket for the night bus that you can see in the back. You gotta take a trip on the night bus after you blow up your aunt. That's the rules when you're running away from the government. Also in the background, you can see the Marauder's Map. This is when we first learn of Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot, and Prompt. The best fan fiction to ever come to Harry Potter. And if you have not read All the Young Dudes, please read it. I am not finished. I don't want to finish it yet because I never want it to end. It's everything I ever wanted. Right next to the Marauder's Map, is a have you seen this wizard photo of myself. <laughs> I got that taken at platform nine and three quarters. 
in London. Why would I go to Azkaban though? I was framed. And then I really like how I paired this teacup with this little spoon. One of my favorite Harry Potter quotes that Ron says, little death omen, never hurt anybody except the person it was for. <laughs> Shelf number four, Goblet of Fire. Rita Skeeter here with a quick quotes quill. Rita Skeeter is the original drama channel of Hogwarts. Woo! Spinning the egg. The greatest thing I ever got from the wizarding world. I just wanna take a bath, baby. I wish it opened, but this is still so cool. Woo! And in the back is a little card that I got from Rodney, my friend Rodney, who's um, one spell away on Instagram. Right here is another wand from Drunker Wands. And this one is Cedric. Here comes the boy, Cedric. You can see that I have a lot of the Yule Ball represented as well as the Quidditch World Cup. I got all of these things from different subscription boxes. It's really hard for me to remember which ones. And then I have this little butterbeer candle. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. In the back, we got a dark mark in the sky. Barty Crouch Jr. had to do it to him. But the gang's all here. I think I'm doing a good job with these shelves. What do you guys think? Shelf number five. With the introduction of my favorite character, Luna Lovegood in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Here we go. Some sneakers that Luna Lovegood would absolutely be obsessed with. Got these from fun.com and they are just perfect for Luna. Look at this, prophecy. Yeah, Trelawney, you make that prediction, bitch. I got that proclamation for Christmas. I think my mom got it on Etsy. All right, we're getting closer. We're going through these books. I know we're at Half Blood Prince, but don't come for me for putting Rita Skeeter's book there, okay? I'm just trying to represent the characters of Snape, and Dumbledore. We have a little love potion right here. I got this at the Wizarding World. I think it's actually supposed to be candy, but I got this a long time ago, so I would not eat this. <laughs> and then we have this gorgeous replica, and this was made by Alarm 18, who made it for me. It's incredible. It's amazing. And then we got a little Felix Felicis here. This is from a Lit Joy Crate box. Dumbledore in the back, again. Don't come for me, I know you see that later. That's from No Match Chris, who made that for me. Dumbledore's a shady little bitch. This little RAB note. Got this from a subscription box. And then we had to have both the Horcruxes here. I got both of these so long ago that I do not remember where they're from. I think I might have gotten them at LeakyCon or something. I have these cute little Pensieve bottles. And I got these when I was at an Audible event for 20 years of magic. And then we have this big boy. I want a Pensieve. That'd be so cool. Oh. We made it to the end, witches. Well, the end of the books. <laughs> How many Horcruxes can you spot? The Elder Wand. Oh yeah, the most powerful wand that Harry snaps in half. Oh, you have to see this mug. This is so perfect. This represents the first half of the whole freaking book. Worst camping trip ever. You could say that again, mug. And then we have this. Dumbledore always knew that Harry would put this ball in his mouth. <laughs> I hate myself. The Hermione bag I got from Noble Collection. It's beautiful. It's perfect. I love it. The tales of Beetle the Bard is again from Alarm 18. He makes my Ravenclaw heart so, so happy. Like what more could a Ravenclaw ask for? Nothing, except for unlimited knowledge. Bruce, could you make any more noise? <laughs> Look at him. Look at this little guy. Oh, sweet boy. Okay. All right, back to the tour. Then we got some Horcruxes over here. All three of these are from Noble Collection. This is my most prized possession. This diadem Hufflepuff's cap. That duplicated so many freaking times. I definitely would have lost the actual Horcrux. <laughs> Do you know I'm like terrified of snakes, but I had every other Horcrux and I'm like, I have to have Nagini. Luna, shut. 
This video has just descended into madness. Remember how talkative I was at the beginning of this? Oh man, what happened to her? We have this little pop Funko of Luna. I think that's the first Luna Funko I ever got. Here are these Luna glasses I got on Amazon and I've worn them so much that a little part broke off. And then here we have Luna's lion hat. Which was always just my favorite thing that Luna has worn because it just showed how much she loved supporting her friends. And the lion hat I also got on Etsy. This is my little Luna Quibbler candle. It smells so good, it smells like candy. Look at this. Keep off the dirigible plums. And then this wand though. Oh, it's so Luna. And then in the back, it's a pandemic Quibbler. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. <gasps> okay, calm down, Dee. I think this one's my favorite. It's my Diagon Alley shell. In the center is a Gringotts bank. Like, it's an actual bank that you can put money in. I got it on eBay. Well done, dragon. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. This pygmy puff is from Lit Joy Crate. This shell is the best. This is the best one. I just love Diagon Alley so much. Oh my god, I miss the Wizarding World. I want to go to Orlando so bad. I'm sorry I'm whispering, but everyone's asleep. I'm just rambling now. Hey, leave a comment and let me know which shelf was your favorite. So guys, I want to start doing a thing at the end of each video where I answer one of your Harry Potter questions and we sort a character together. Because this is my channel, my rules. <laughs> kind of like the Ravenclaw riddles that we do for Fantastic Geeks, except it's on my channel. <laughs> Today, I'm taking a question from Emma Young, who says, Hi, I was wondering if you could choose one character from Harry Potter and show him slash her slash them our world for one day, who would it be, what would you do with them, and why? To me, this question is so obvious but I'm sure you guys might have different answers. But I gotta take Arthur. You gotta take Arthur Weasley into the muggle world. Whatever I show him, he'll be amazed by. I mean, I could see how that could get a little annoying to some people, but for me, seeing people in their element, like seeing people being so excited and happy is my favorite thing. But that was a great question. Thank you, Emma. I almost forgot. If you wanna submit your Harry Potter related question for a Ravenclaw riddle, Email me at tessastarfishmail at gmail.com or comment below your question with the hashtag RavenclawRiddle and who knows, I might read your question and answer it in my next video. Moving on to sorting. So we are going to start with the Disney princesses and first up we have Snow White. So what Hogwarts house do you think Snow White would be in and why? Comment below and let me know with the hashtag sort snow white. I'm also going to start putting chapters in each of my videos, so make sure to check out my description box so you can like see what the video is about and skip around if you want. Give this video a thumbs up if you want me to make more Harry Potter videos. And again, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can join my starfish family and geek with me every week. Right now I have a podcast with my best friend Brizzy Voices called Fantastic Geeks. We release new episodes every Monday, so make sure you're subscribed on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever else you get your podcasts. Check out my description box. Thumbs up if you like this video. And don't let the muggles get you down. Bye. So, Vegard. Oh my god, I'm like burping. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, this is going off the rails. Okay, look. No. Come back. Listen, I'm scared of snakes because when I was a little kid, there was a snake coming at me. So this was a snake and it was like coming at me like this. Like right up my face, and I was just a little kid. Maybe if I could talk to snakes, it'd be better, but I'm not a parcel tongue.